welcome to Make and Pray. My name's Sarah. Now, there are a lot of people that are finding things challenging at the minute during lockdown. And the thing that I find most helpful is being able to talk to God about how I'm feeling. And that's called prayer. But some people feel like they can't talk to God themselves, but actually would be really grateful to know that somebody is praying for them. Somebody's talking to God on their behalf. So today we're gonna to make our own prayer box which we can then leave either outside our house or on our front gate for people to add their prayer requests into from our local community so that they know that somebody is praying for them. So let's get started. Okay, so the things we're gonna to need to make our prayer box are a cardboard box, it could be any kind, big, small, you could use a cereal box, a shoe box, whatever you have in or around the house. You need some colored pens, some scissors, some sellotape, and also some wrapping paper or brown paper, it could be plain paper, whatever you have to hand to cover your box. If it's already just a plain cardboard box, you could just decorate that, whatever you have to hand and however you'd like to decorate it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a letterbox shape on our cardboard box. And this is where we're gonna put our prayer requests into. Once that's done, you're going to need to cut that out. And again, be very careful with this. You need a, um, adult supervision to use the scissors. And the next thing we're going to do is cover our box, if that's what we're doing. I've just used a brown paper, but you could use a wrapping paper or plain paper. And I've covered the whole box as if I was wrapping a present. And then what we need to do is find that hole that we cut out to post our prayer requests into and cut that out again. And I've also stuck a white label on the front just so it's easy for people to see what it is. I've then written a note on this. Obviously, feel free to write whatever you want. I've just decided to put this and write prayer box on it, but you can decide to write whatever you'd like. And then we've decorated it. So again, feel free to decorate it however you'd like to, use as many colours, as little colours, um, whatever you'd like to do. And I've also cut out some smaller pieces of paper that can be left with the prayer box and some pens so that people can write things down if they'd like to post something in the prayer box. It might also be a good idea to write a little note that you can post through maybe your neighbour's letterboxes just to explain what the prayer box is, where it is, where they could find it, and then that you're happy to pray for them or their family, whatever they would like. Um, here's just a quick example of one that I've done, but you can obviously word it however you'd like, whatever you feel. And yeah, we're looking forward to hearing what God does through your prayer boxes. So I hope you enjoyed making your prayer box. And we love to hear the things that God's doing in your communities. So if you have stories to share from um, putting your prayer box outside your house and the things that God's been doing through that, we'd love to hear about them. So you can write a comment um, below this video or you can send us an email as well. The details will be on the screen. So really excited to see what God's going to be doing. Yeah.